Good morning, boys and girls. So we're having our first virtual worship today, and I went ahead and opened the Word. I don't know if you remember when you were in school, we had helpers in the classroom doing the jobs of opening the Word and lighting the candles. Well, today, since you're not here, I opened the Word, and I thought we would start with a little prayer. So if you fold your hands and bow your heads, we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. All right, so today um, I wanted to do a little worship lesson to introduce to you the story of Exodus. Now, I don't know if you remember, but at the end of Genesis, you might remember that Joseph was in Egypt with all of his descendants. And um, at the end, they carried um, Joseph's, they, Joseph died at the end and um, his descendants were left in Egypt. So that's where our story begins in Exodus. So I'm going to open the word and I'm going to start reading to you the very beginning. Now, I always like to um, I always like to talk about the five books of Moses or the first five books of the word. And the first book is called Genesis. And you're really familiar with that one, I know, because you did it all last year in second grade. So you might remember that Genesis means beginning. When we start learning about Exodus, the word Exodus also has a meaning. And maybe you can think, maybe you've heard that word before. Maybe you, um, maybe you know what it means. But if you don't know what it means, I will tell you. Exodus is a large group of people. It's a journey, basically. Think of it like a journey. So in, the, in Exodus in the Word, this is the story of the journey of the children of Israel um, leaving Egypt. Now, why would they want to leave Egypt when at the end of Genesis, it seemed like they were happy there. They were multiplying. Their descendants were, were um, all over the land and there was food there. Things were going very, very well at the end of Genesis. So why would they want to leave? Well, we're going to find out. So we go to the beginning of Exodus and we're just going to read the first little bit. Okay. So this is the second book of Moses and it starts off. Now these are the names of the children of Israel who came to Egypt. Each man in his household came with Jacob. Now you might recognize some of these names. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All those who were descendants of Jacob were 70 persons, for Joseph, Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died, all his brothers and all that generation. But the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. So abundantly means lots and lots, right? And the land was filled with them. Verse 8. Now there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, look, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them. Lest they multiply and it happen in the event of war that they also join our enemies and fight against us and so go up out of the land. Therefore, they set taskmasters over them to afflict them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh supply cities, Pithom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew and they were in dread of the children of Israel. So the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor. 
and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and brick and in all manner of service in the field. All their service in which they made them serve was with rigor. So what does that all mean? There are a lot of interesting words in that in that reading today. So basically what's that, what that's saying is that there was a new king in Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he saw that the children of Israel were fruitful and abundant, and there were so many of them. And this particular king, he was afraid that all the children of Israel were going to rise up against him. Now, this king of Egypt was a very, he was, you think of a king as being a good ruler, somebody who wants to take care of their people and provide for them. But this king was not like that. He was a very scared and fearful king. Um... So he was afraid of the children of Israel. And so what he did was, in order to make them weaker, he made them into slaves. Now a slave is somebody who does work for somebody um, for free. They don't get paid for it. And why would anybody do that? Well, these people, the Egyptians, were would beat them. They would do terrible things to them to make them work for them. So they began to become slaves in Egypt. And rigor means very, very hard, hard work. So they were slaves, they were working very, very hard. And when somebody's a slave, they usually don't have time to read or write or to make themselves a better person. So it's a way of, a very awful, terrible way of putting some, someone down, like taking a whole group of people and putting them down so that they can't get better or advance. And so the children of Israel became slaves in Egypt. And so did you hear the word bondage? Maybe you remember the Ten Commandments. Um, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Bondage means that um, somebody is held um, against their will, kind of. Like, so sort of captivity. You can think of bondage as sort of like being held um, without you wanting to be held. So um, in the Ten Commandments, the Lord talks about how he brought the children of Israel out of bondage. So the children of Israel are now slaves. It's going to be a long time until the Lord brings them out of the slavery, but it's going to happen. And we're going to follow the story of the children of Israel and their exodus from Egypt.